rail guns and robots and unlimited power. Oh my! Don't say we don't be in the most exciting military technology videos on latest in defence. In this edition, BAA Systems shares its latest railgun test results, including the weapon's destructive effect on targets. The MOD's research arm demonstrates a new human-like robot to test protective suits, and the US Navy demonstrates technology that could create a liquid hydrocarbon fuel from plain old seawater. See you on the firing range. This week, the US Navy has outlined plans to deploy and test a prototype electromagnetic railgun on board a ship in 2016. On the back of this announcement, BA Systems has released more footage of its railgun testing. We've seen the explosive launch and the projectile in flight before, but this time, BAE Systems has shared the destructive power it can unleash on a target. Using no explosives, just sheer kinetic force, it obliterates an armoured vehicle and tears through layer after layer of steel shipping crates. One can only imagine what it could do to enemy vessels. We love a good robot on based in defence, and the British MOD's DSTL research arm has introduced a fine example. Named after DSTL's Port and Down headquarters, Port and Man was built by iBody Technology using Formula One materials. The £1.1 million robot can walk, march, run, sit, kneel, and even position its arms like an infantryman holding a weapon. Port and Man has more than 100 sensors over its body to test protective equipment for soldiers exposed to chemical and biological agents. These will provide data which will let scientists carry out real time analysis. The more human like the better for robots testing equipment to protect soldiers. The military is a massive consumer of fossil fuel, and with prices rising and supplies dwindling, researchers are always looking for alternatives. The US Naval Research Laboratory, or NRL, has demonstrated proof of concept technology that could reduce jet fuel from seawater on a large scale. The NRL's method extracts carbon dioxide and produces hydrogen from seawater, then recombines them to produce a liquid hydrocarbon fuel. NRL scientists have used the resulting fuel to power the internal combustion engine on a model aircraft. Within just 10 years, they say a commercial version of this process could produce jet fuel for less than $6 a gallon. Unfortunately, they won't be making prices at the petrol pump lower anytime soon. They say there's nothing new under the sun. It might seem a bit of a fool to show technology that's been done before on a channel called Latest in Defence. After all, railguns have been knocking around for years, the Petman robot has been testing protective clothing, and affordable fuel from seawater is a long-standing goal. But military innovation isn't just about creating shiny new technology that no one's done before. It's about achieving goals better, faster, and of course cheaper than before, and reaching exciting milestones on lengthy projects. Join us next time on Latest in Defence, and if you want more shiny tech in the meantime, be sure to check out strategicdefenseintelligence.com. Sure